now let's see this one question number five this language l1 is given to you this is a double a triple a l1 is given to you l2 is all the strings which are not in this l1 okay so what is l2 tell me what is l2 l2 is basically l1 complement yes or no l2 is l2 is language of all strings which are not in this so i can say l2 is l1 complement now the question is asking let the number of states in minimal dfa for l1 l2 be m comma n so remember minimal dfa minimal dfa now the question is asking which of them is correct which of them is correct tell me the answer will be option b the answer will be option b actually this will happen for all the languages okay let's prove it let's prove it actually this is a question from uh, from the gate exam also this question has come in the gate exam also you can notice the same question has come in gate 2021 also what they are saying they are saying minimal dfa has k states so basically for l complement you can see option c is l complement right option c is l complement so you can notice for l complement also the minimal dfa has k states okay so actually for this question the answer will be option c what i want to say this is a very nice question let's prove it let's prove it see what i want to say is this you already know you already know if you have a regular language l okay let's assume you have a regular language l you tell me one thing this regular language has some minimal dfa right yes or no agree this regular language has some minimal dfa okay has some minimal dfa let's call it minimal dfa d okay in this minimal dfa let's assume number of states is n okay now you tell me one thing for this regular language you have this minimal dfa you have this minimal dfa which has total n states okay which has total n states now you tell me one thing if i do this what i do i just complement the states i am complementing the states in this dfa this is a dfa this is minimal dfa it has n states for this language now if i complement the states means i change the final state to non final i change the final state to non final and i change non final state to final means i am just complementing the states i am only complementing the states final state i am making it non final and non final state i am making it final okay remember i am complementing the states what i am doing here this simply means i am complementing states we are complementing states of dfa d okay is this clear so you will get a new dfa right agree you will get a new dfa what you will get you will get a new dfa i will get a new dfa i will get okay let's call this dfa let's call this dfa d dash so you will get a new dfa d dash tell me what will be the language of this dfa what will be the language of this dfa this we have already seen you can see for a regular language you have minimal dfa this minimal dfa in this minimal dfa if i complement the states then i will get a new dfa what will be the language of this new dfa this new dfa will have l complement this new dfa the language of this new dfa will be what the, the language of this new dfa that will be what that will be l complement so i can say l complement has dfa with and you can notice the number of states is same yes or no number of states is not changing when i complement the states number of states is not changing okay is this point clear so this is what i am saying that from this minimal dfa if you complement the states if you simply complement states just complement the states you will get a new dfa okay if you do this you will get a new dfa you will get a new dfa okay let's call it d dash now you can easily notice in this new dfa also how many states will be there tell me in this new dfa number of states will be same in this new dfa number of states will be same and the language is l complement okay so actually if you notice from this from this if you notice i can say l complement has a dfa with n states yes or no if you notice from this from this what i can say from this what i can say from this entire story from this entire story what i can say i can say that l complement has also has dfa l complement also has a dfa has a dfa with any states yes or no is this clear but how can you guarantee this is minimal are you getting my point please understand what i am saying see l complement has a dfa has a dfa has a dfa with any states 
L complement has a DFA with any states. Okay, but how can you guarantee this is minimal? This DFA, this, this new DFA that you are getting, this new DFA that you are getting, how can you guarantee this is minimal? Is there a guarantee that this is minimal? So, so far what we have seen, we have seen that. So L complement also has, also has a DFA, a DFA with N states, with N states. Yes or no? But how can you guarantee this will be minimal? Tell me. But how can we guarantee this is minimal? How can we guarantee? How can we guarantee? How can we guarantee that it is minimal? It is minimal DFA. Please tell me, did you understand my point? Okay. How can you guarantee that this is minimal DFA? Let me know. How can you guarantee that this D dash is minimal DFA? Okay. This D dash is minimal DFA. Is there a guarantee? Yes. Prove by contradiction. You can prove by contradiction. Okay. How will you guarantee that it is a, it is minimal DFA? Let me tell you the answer. The answer is proved by contradiction. You can just prove by contradiction. You can prove by contradiction. Okay. So what you will do in proof by contradiction, what you will do? Tell me. You will assume this is not minimal. Okay. Yes or no? In the proof by contradiction. See, L, L bar has DFA with N states. Okay. This DFA D bar. This DFA D bar. So you can notice. Now, assume, just assume for a moment what you do. Assume it is not minimal. Assume D bar is not minimal. D bar is not minimal. Tell me if D bar is not minimal, then what that means? If D bar is not minimal, then what that means? That means for this language L, for this language L complement, okay, for this language L complement, minimal DFA will have how many states? Okay. For this language L complement, D bar is not minimal, remember. This D bar is not minimal. I am assuming this. I am assuming D bar is not minimal. Then minimal DFA will have how many states? Then I can say minimal DFA. Let's call it M. Let's call it M. This minimal DFA will have how many states? So I can say minimal DFA has less than any states. Yes or no? Okay. Agree. So for L complement, minimal DFA has less than any states. Now there is a problem. Now there is a problem. Now what will happen? Now, now what will happen? Now there is a contradiction. What are the contradiction? The contradiction is this. Now you got a contradiction. Now there is a problem. And what are the contradiction? The contradiction is that now L, remember what we were saying? We were saying that L has minimal DFA with any states. Yes or no? For L, minimal DFA has how many states? Tell me. Tell me, tell me. For L, minimal DFA has how many states? Tell me. Any states, right? Okay, this is what we were saying. This is what we were saying that for this language L, for this language L, minimal DFA has any states. This is what we were saying. Okay, now you can notice what will be the contradiction? The contradiction will be this. The contradiction will be this that now, now L has minimal, now L has, now L will have, now L will have DFA with less than any states. DFA with less than any states. Is that possible? Is that possible? Tell me. See, already we are saying, notice, notice, already we are saying that L has minimal DFA with any states. L has minimal DFA, minimal, minimal. L has minimal DFA with any states. So is it possible L can have another DFA with less than any states? Is it possible? Is it possible L can have another DFA with less than any states? Is it possible? No, that is not possible. But now that will happen. Why that will happen? Tell me why that will happen. Because what you can do? See, this is what you are saying that L complement has minimal DFA M. Has minimal DFA M with how many states? with the less than any states. This is what you are getting. Now what you do in this, if I, in this, if I do the complementing of states in this, if I complement the states, then what will happen in this? If I complement the states, what will happen? I will get a new DFA. I will get a new DFA with how many states with less than any states with less than any states. I will get a new DFA with less than any states and this DFA, its language will be L. And this is the contradiction. And this is the contradiction. This entire thing is the contradiction. This entire thing is the contradiction.
प्लीज टेल मी डिड यू अंडरस्टँड सो सो आय कॅन से सो आय कॅन से दॅट रिमेंबर सो फायनली आय कॅन से दॅट येस डी सो आय कॅन से दो वी हॅव प्रोवन दॅट वॉट वी हॅव प्रोवन वी हॅव प्रोवन दॅट डी बार इज मिनिमल डी एफ ए फॉर एल कॉम्प्लिमेंट इज मिनिमल डी एफ ए फॉर एल कॉम्प्लिमेंट इट इज मिनिमल डी एफ ए फॉर एल कॉम्प्लिमेंट ओके दिस इज वॉट वी हॅव प्रोवन प्लीज टेल मी डिड यू अंडरस्टँड द प्रूफ डिड यू अंडरस्टँड द प्रूफ लेट मी नो लेट मी टेल यू जस्ट जस्ट लेट मी क्यूकली टेल यू द प्रूफ यू हॅव रेग्युलर लँग्वेज एल यू हॅव दिस रेग्युलर लँग्वेज एल ओके लेट्स अजून दिस रेग्युलर लँग्वेज एल हॅज मिनिमल डी एफ ए विथ एन स्टेट्स ओके लेट्स अजून दिस हॅज मिनिमल डी एफ ए हॅज एन स्टेट्स लेट्स अजून सी द प्रूफ इज क्वाइट सिम्पल लेट मी क्यूकली टेल यू लेट मी रिवाइज द प्रूफ यू हॅव रेग्युलर लँग्वेज एल लेट्स अजून मिनिमल डी एफ ए आय एम टॉकिंग अबाउट मिनिमल डी एफ ए लेट्स अजून मिनिमल डी एफ ए हॅज एन स्टेट्स ओके सो यू कॅन इझिली नोटिस दॅट फॉर दिस यू हॅव मिनिमल डी एफ ए there is a minimal dfa d okay there is a minimal dfa d which has total n states now what you do in this dfa what you do you complement the states in this dfa what you do you complement the states right you complement states means all the final states you make them non final all the non final states you make them final so you complement the states what will happen what will happen you will get a new dfa you will get a new dfa let's call it d complement okay with how many states the number of states will not change if you complement the states if you complement the states number of states will not change so you will get a new dfa with again n states this new dfa you will get this new dfa will recognize l complement that you already know okay now how to prove that this is minim this is minimal how to prove how to prove this is minimal see if this is not minimal if this is not minimal okay let's assume that if not minimal then there will be a problem see if not minimal if this is not minimal if this d complement i am talking about d complement so i am saying that if this d complement is not minimal then what it means then what it means let me know then what it means then it means that for l complement you have it means for l complement you have a minimal dfa you have a minimal dfa with less than any states yes or no less than n states agree so this is what you have you have a minimal dfa with less than n states for l complement okay so very simple i can say for l complement for l complement you have minimal dfa with less than n states now you can notice what again you will do now again you will complement the states okay now again you complement states now again you complement states so remember you have minimal dfa your minimal dfa your minimal dfa let's call it m let's call it m okay so you can see your minimal dfa m with with less than any states now again if you complement the states tell me in this in this dfa in this dfa again if i complement the states what i will get tell me what i will get i will get dfa i will get a dfa with what i will get tell me i will get dfa m complement okay with and with less than any states yes or no with less than any states now the language will be what now for this the language will be l okay for this new dfa the language will be l for this new dfa because for this dfa the language is l complement if you complement the states in this dfa if you complement the states new dfa you will get with less than any states new dfa you will get with less than any states and this the language of this dfa will be l now there is a contradiction what is the contradiction see see there is a contradiction between these three these these two you can easily notice there is a contradiction between these two just look at these two okay just look at these two there is a contradiction can you see there is a contradiction yes or no agree please tell me okay just look at these two just look at these two there is a contradiction there is a contradiction okay if you just notice these two forget about everything else just if you focus on these two if you focus on these two you will get a contradiction so this is the proof i hope you understood this proof this is a very beautiful proof right this this is a cute proof this is a cute proof that basically like prove by contradiction if this is not minimal okay if this is not minimal if here there is the if here you have the if if this is not minimal then problem will happen yes or no 
if this is not minimal if this is not minimal then problem will happen then contradiction will happen this contradiction will happen so finally i can say this is the result let me tell you the result what is the result remember for every regular language what will happen for every regular language for every regular language l and l complement yes or no for every regular language this will happen remember for every regular language whatever regular language you take so this will happen for every regular language for every regular language l i can say that l and l complement will have same number of states yes or no minimal dfa minimal dfa for l and l complement for l comma l complement have same number of states have same number of states will have same number of states okay will always have same number of states is this clear and this will happen for every regular language whatever regular language you take i am talking about minimal dfa the minimal dfa for l comma l complement will have same number of states and the proof we have seen the proof is interesting you should understand the proof the proof is very cute proof prove by contradiction okay yes or no prove by contradiction you just find the complement okay just complement the states you will get a new dfa for l complement that will be minimal if that is not minimal then contradiction will happen yes or no so that is a very cute proof and i hope you understood please tell me did you understand the proof did you understand let me know did you understand the proof so here you can just solve this question this gate exam question you can solve what this gate exam question is saying see arbitrary regular language they are talking about arbitrary regular language means basically they are basically talking about any regular language right arbitrary regular language they are basically talking about any regular language l is any regular language okay that is accepted by minimal dfa with k states so l has minimal dfa for this l you have minimal dfa with k states with k states okay now the question is asking which one of the following languages must necessarily have minimal dfa with k states tell me must necessarily have minimal dfa with k states must necessarily have minimal dfa with k states tell me which of the following languages must have minimal dfa with k states the answer will be l complement you can notice option c is l complement option c is l complement and you can notice this will also have minimal dfa with k states and this will happen for every regular language right yes or no this will happen for every regular language correct this will happen for every regular language this is going to happen for every regular language this is going to happen for every whatever any regular language you take this will happen okay i hope this point is clear so your answer will be option c so quite easily you can do okay let's come to our question so for our question what will happen l1 l2 they will have same number of states in the minimal dfa will have same number of states right minimal dfa for l1 l2 that will have same number of states so this will always happen right this actually will always happen for every l this will always happen for every regular language l okay so this will actually happen for every regular language l whatever regular language you take for every regular language l this will happen i can say minimal dfa number of states in minimal dfa okay so i can simply say number of states how many states are there in minimal dfa for l that will be always equal to that will be always equal to number of states in minimal dfa for l complement number of states in minimal dfa for l complement Okay, this is something important. I hope you understood. I hope you understood the proof.